morning, everybody. Good morning. What a beautiful day it is today. Mm -hmm. The sun is shining. The birds are chirping. Mm -hmm. The weather's nice. It's not raining <laughs> like it has been for days and days and days and days. So, good day to get some work done around here. I'd say so. We did get a lot of stuff done this past couple days, even though it has been raining. There was a break yesterday, and I was like, let's hurry up and get this done now. Take right. a look, guys. We got the roof on. <laughs> we got a roof. So this actually looks like a porch now. Like a real porch. Yeah, it changes the whole look of the shed. It does. It does. The feel too. It's still not fully done. You guys gotta remember, this is gonna extend out another 10 feet to about like right here. And so this roof and everything's got another one coming out. But for what we have now, this is super nice. <laughs> now no more rain's gonna hit the door when we're walking inside like Roxanne was saying right yeah you're saying that it's so hard to to walk inside the house with it raining because you get poured on well yeah or you got a bunch of plates for dinner and I'm walking over here to bring them over to the shed and it's pouring and I'm trying to run as fast as I can yeah, so I don't get I'm getting wet. dripped on <laughs> on the last video um, you're talking about the laundry room and the flashing and doing all that kind of stuff so after seeing a bunch of comments that you guys wrote, and we were originally gonna do this in the first place and we just ended up not doing it. We were probably just being lazy, I'm not gonna lie, at first. Yeah, tired. Tired. We ended up taking the siding, well, not all of it, but the edging, the trim work, we took that off. We undid the siding all the way up to like right here so we can pull the bottom out. So we did flash like we wanted to do in the beginning. The flashing is now on the inside. Okay, you can see it goes all the way around. It's on the inside behind the trim and it comes out underneath the siding. Underneath behind this comes out and then L's down as you can see right there. Look at this, and you can see the caulking. We put caulking every. This is clear caulking. It's just not fully dried yet. So once it's fully dry, it'll be clear. You won't see it. Mm -hmm. But so now there is no way at all water can come on here and drip down and get inside. There's yeah. just no way. Yeah. I still have to flash this window. Haven't done that yet, but I have to go back to the store and get some more stuff for that. And we have to paint it and seal it. But it's coming along, guys. It is coming along. So we got a lot of work to do today. The day is nice, like I said. <laughs> so we got some stuff to do, guys. Yeah, so always. let's yeah. So let's get it. I don't know if you guys can see this cable right here. This is also going to be a temporary cable. So take a look. I know Melanie and Gary from Simple Life Reclaimed and Come On from Come On Home Setting already said, but can you guys see that right there? That's our Starlink, way up on the roof, and I almost fell off that roof yesterday trying to put it on. I was scared, and I was used to it, because in my last job I used to go up on roofs and in attics and do all that kind of stuff all the time. But over here it's a little different. So we have the cable from it going all the way from the roof, way over there, bringing it into Thunderdome. And then the router and everything is inside there, which is really nice because the internet has been so, so much better. It does have its spotty times to where we'll lose connection for like five to six seconds, 10 seconds. When you're streaming video or online, it doesn't really matter. If you're doing a live stream, I'm sure it's gonna matter. We haven't even done one yet with the Starlink. But we're gonna try it and hopefully it works really well. But it is a million times better than the cell phones that we've been using for the past year. So I do feel like we're somewhat back in, you know, regular age times. And right now we have no cell phone signal at all, like zero cell phone signal. So good thing that we have Starlink and someone's over here leeching. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> There's no signal. <laughs> no signal. We have zero signal at all for our phones. So a good thing about all of our phones, I'm sure yours has it too, you have Wi-Fi calling. Yes. So we can actually still use the phone if there's an emergency, still text message and stuff like that. We wouldn't have been able to do that without that up there. It's been out for two days. Thank you, Elon Musk. Yes, two days. 
So thank you. They call him Papa Elon. Yeah, thank you, Papa Elon. Appreciate you, bro. <laughs> we have to get some paint stuff. For Miss Roxanne, I believe she's going to be painting a little bit today, or sealing, more like it. Staining and sealing. Don't be getting any paint or sealant on my new deck. I'm trying not to. Okay. I'm kind of a messy painter. If I see one drip. <laughs> All right. I'm just kidding. Oh, hi, midnight. So, I need to run a power line over to the laundry room. We still haven't closed all this in, as you guys have seen. That's where all our power is coming to. Our panel's on the other side. So I'm gonna be running this down and over. And there's been people have asked, why don't we just connect the laundry room to the house? Well, it's, there's the laundry room. Because right here is our bathroom. This is where our bathroom's gonna be. So for some of you guys that may not know, there's no real way to make a door right here. Because our shower is gonna be right. I gotta put an outlet in for the washer. We gotta put an outlet for, well, tie it in for the lights inside there. And then I'm gonna have to run the outlet for the dryer. Don't forget guys, whenever you're working on electrical, make sure the power's turned off. Don't do anything else until that's done first. Because it can be scary and you don't want to accidentally zap yourself. So, Roxanne's <laughs> getting it, the painting. Trying. <laughs> <laughs> I know those paint rollers are always such a pain to get off if you let them dry. Careful. <laughs> see if that works. Look, I already got paint on me. I haven't even started yet. <laughs> Remember what I told you about my deck? I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, are you sure you can trust me? I'm a messy painter. Yeah, I can trust you. It's your deck too. I'm sure you don't want it to get messed up. <laughs> no, I don't. But I know who, how I am as a painter. So we're going to paint the laundry room the exact same color as the house. as long And along with the trim. It will be the same color. So not much thinking involved in that. I just got to find the five gallon bucket we got of the house stain. Halfway done with this first wall and once again it matches and it is gonna look so good it's gonna actually I think when it's all said and done it's gonna look like it was just put here naturally so I like that idea but still got a long ways to go so I guess I get to painting rock out to some music zone out for a little bit I'm hoping I have enough of this 12-2 wire left because I don't want to buy anymore. So I'm tired of buying this wire. It's expensive. All right. Should be coming out down over here. Thank <laughs> you. 
back to powering things, guys. <laughs> back to hooking up the panel. We did like four videos on this. <laughs> Took a while. I mean, we weren't used to it because we are not electricians. And we didn't know what to do at first. But now, believe it or not, I'm pretty comfortable with it. And for some of you that might have been not seen it or wondering what the heck are all these red and black wires those don't look normal in a panel those go to our generator backup over here that you wire into the panel and it was really cool basically you just plug a generator right in and if you lose power and the generator will power your whole house roxanne and i when we first started wiring up thunderdome Last year, we were so scared about doing this power. We didn't talk about it too much in the video, a little bit, but we were freaked out, guys. Like, I was so nervous to do power. Because, you know, power is scary. You know, you mess up, that's it. You get fried. But now, it's like, not second nature. I don't mean it that way at all. But it's so not scary if you just have somewhat of an understanding of what you're doing. You don't even have to know like everything, just an understanding. So you know you ain't gonna mess anything up. My wire management skills need some work though. I'll tell you that right now. Okay, we're wired for power, even though the power's still off. So, I've got the wire ready, babe, but you need to show me where your stuff's going. I kind of think I know, but I'm not 100% sure. Alright. So. Well, the doors open like this. Out. Okay. Like the washer door. You know? So yeah. the washer should go here. Okay. And the dryer should go here. Okay. So. Let's see. So I put the plug like right there then. This, for the washer. On this bed. And then where the dryer, like right here. Maybe, like, maybe on this one. That's what I'm thinking, yeah. Or you could put it on this one, but just make sure it's on this side. Okay. I mean, whatever one. <clears throat> Alright. Sounds good. Get it done. Uh, how am I going to run this? Let's see. Put this in there and then I'm going to flip it all up. Now the fun part of getting under there and putting all these on. Done doing electrical work. Not too much left though. Of all the magic places in the world I've been to, this is where my heart is. Oh, you know it's true. No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you. Been walking down the street so many times, my feet know every brick and stone could wear a blindfold. No matter what I do, I'm coming home to you.
I think I do. I think we're like right on the money of this. So I don't have to buy any more wire. Because guys, this stuff is becoming so expensive. Like seriously, really expensive. Even 12 too. All right, I drilled a hole for the dryer wire. And now, Gotta put this box on. So our dryer plug is this one right here. This is a flush mount dryer outlet. It's gonna be like this. So I guess it doesn't matter. Let me see. Probably, probably do like that. That's flimsy, man. I don't know. So wheat. Then this is going to go just like this, guys. There we go. First wall is done, and it looks so nice. It matches. Um, I will have to go back through, though, and do, like, a second coat because there's some, like, little, little patchiness. Mm -hmm. Anthony, you want to come check it out, baby? Mm -hmm. You want to come check it out? Hmm. First, <laughs> let me see if there's any... A bit on my deck. I'm kidding. Oh, it looks good. Yeah, it matches. It's gonna look really good, baby. Yeah, it is gonna, like I mentioned too, it's gonna look like it, it matches, it meshes, like it was made to be there. You know? No, I agree. No, it's gonna look super good. Yeah. Um, so are you done down here now? Uh, not 100%, but if you wanna start painting right there, you can. I still have to run. I have to run that 10-3 for your dryer if you wanted to help me with that real quick. That shouldn't take just a few minutes mm -hmm. just to get it ran. Yeah. All right. Well, we've successfully got a wire there for our dryer, which is really nice. Very exciting stuff there. Yeah, I just got to run that now. And we're going to have power in here, which is awesome. Yeah, super awesome. I got to see if Gary's got like... 10 feet of 12-2, I think he does. I'm gonna go see if I can borrow a little piece from him. <laughs> I, I was like four feet short, guys. Yeah, it's like right there, just, ugh. but. And that's from, running, that's from running the switch back up to the light that we're putting in there. So yeah. that, you know, you have, have to have a light in the laundry room. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. but that's okay. I yeah. think Gary's got him, I might be able to borrow from him. I hope. All right, well, I helped him do that, and I guess I'll get back to painting. I've gotten it 
all first coat done. I'm definitely gonna have to do two coats on this because I, there's patchy areas. So while I'm waiting for that to dry, I guess I'll give you guys a little garden update here. I have successfully cleaned out all the garden beds from the leaves and the, or leaves, the sticks and the big rocks. I did leave some sticks and the twigs because I know they will break down, but it was just some of the bigger ones. Like there was some really big ones in some of these, like uh, there's, you know, big one over there. That was in there. Just some really big ones taking up a lot of space. I removed them all as best as I could. Like I said, there's still some rocks and twigs and stuff still in there, but maybe over time I'll slowly pick them out. But it looks so good. It all looks good. And uh, that is a huge uh, load off my shoulders because that's been lingering over me on something I needed to finish so I can move all my stuff that's growing inside out here. Um, I do, however, need to remap out my garden I had a plan before, but uh, we're short two garden beds and the placement of my garden beds have changed. So I need to update that. So that's another thing I need to work on. Maybe tonight, I don't know. We'll, f we'll see. <laughs> All right, just finished wiring up this outlet right here and the dryer outlet. And I was about to start wiring up the plug, the switch, right? And I can't find it anywhere. I specifically bought one more because we ran out. And I've looked everywhere for it. Roxanne's looked for it. Where's she at? I've been inside the house, in the pole barn, in Thunderdome. Disappeared. So we're going into town tomorrow anyway. So I guess we'll just pick up one then and get the light wired up. But we can go ahead and turn this breaker on and double check to make sure that I wired everything up correct. So let's hope guys we don't see no big puff of smoke or nothing. It's on, 50 is gonna be on, and that one's gonna be on. Let's go see what we got. So let's see, let's see if the green light comes on. If it resets. Not resetting. I pulled a Roxanne on these GFCIs. <laughs> she did it once. I put the load on the line side and the line on the load side. That might not make sense to you guys, but GFCIs, they can only go a certain way. And I have it backwards. So let me fix that really quick. We got power. Looking good. I just got to test that 240 though now. I got to go get my multimeter to make sure that dryer one's pulling 240. Yeah. Let me go find where that's at and we should be good to go, guys. Yay. <laughs> oh. You got your power in here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was leaning up against the... <laughs> Oh, don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Real quick though, let's make sure. Let's test it. Make sure it's grounded properly. Two lights. Correct wiring. Two lights. I guess we are the master lighters now, babe. Yeah. Well, that's all you. You did it all by yourself. All right, got the multimeter. Now this is the true test to see if I got 240 volts on this dryer plug. So each one of these should read 120 when you ground it out and you put it into the hot. Got 123, good. And 124. 240, that's what I'm talking about. Well, it is a beautiful day today, but I will say the humidity is out today. So it's the first day I think it's ever been felt this humid out. <laughs> but of course, all the dogs are over here taking naps on the porch. So I have gone ahead and done a second coat on there. So it's looking nice. It's drying. But if you guys look right there in the corner, you can't even see the seam right there. So 
That's nice. <laughs> yeah, no, it's looking good, babe. Yeah, it looks very nice. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna let the second coat dry, but I think I'm gonna go through with the paintbrush now and do all like the little finishing touches that I couldn't get with the roller. Like the corner by the window there. <clears throat> and, yeah. You know, so get that done. been busy away painting and painting and sealing and sealing and it looks so good babe all of it's pretty much sealed with the stain sealer that we've been using yeah it matches very well yeah look at it guys yeah, this wall is pretty much done I gotta do the trim now <laughs> yeah and it's coming out so good but while she's been doing that I'm gonna start some blocking up here inside the laundry room so therefore we can seal it off and it's not gonna be impacted by the weather because we got to remember guys this laundry room needs to not freeze yeah so we got to sure. make sure it doesn't freeze during the winter and so we're gonna do everything we can to make it a solid room so to speak we're gonna insulate it do all that stuff too but um gotta start off with the blocking yeah. so yeah. let me get that going real quick <laughs> good thing we got a lot of scrap wood that we could use for the blocking, which is going to be awesome. There's one I need. These will go up here to block the wind. That way we can sheetrock it the way it needs to be sheetrocked. See, I put one right there already. See that? These two are for that side. And then what we'll end up doing is putting some foam up there right here to block that. And then this roof is going to have sheetrock and insulation on it. So it's going to end up coming to here and, you know, attaching to there. So therefore it's not going to, you know, have a big open gap. In that. There. Like that, guys. To nail them in. You can say when the sheetrock comes down to here, it's gonna cut all that off, and we'll have insulation on top. Now, I'm sure you guys know this stuff. This is great, but that's all right. It sounds like you're spraying some whipped cream or something. I know, right? <laughs> Yeah, well, it's all pretty much foamed. All the cracks are filled in except for the very top. So we're going to put another piece of wood up there. And yeah, I'm pretty sure this thing is not going to freeze once it gets insulated. The floor underneath is going to be insulated. It's going to be good, man. I'm excited. <laughs> Finished it. It looks so nice. The only thing I would change about it is this trim here. <laughs> so I'm going to take care of that right now. The trim is painted. I will have to go back through like the siding and do another little coat. There's a couple little spots that got like smudged, you know, but it looks so nice. Here, let me scoot back. It matches yeah. the shed. Looks very good, baby. I would say that it was a perfect match. Yeah. And uh, if you guys can see, Anthony put the, um, Trim on trim. the window. Yep, trim on the window. Yep. Uh, I will have not painted it yet. Painted it yet, but we gotta wait for the um, caulking or yeah, yeah, to to dry. To dry. So. Yeah, we could have painted it before, but I put it up and then I was like, oh okay, 
too late now, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was putting it in and I said, well, you know, I could have painted that before you did that, but oh well, it's too late. It's okay, I'll paint it here soon. But it looks nice. All right guys, it's getting late during the day. We're gonna have to go pick up Wyatt in a minute. I'm very happy we got the outlets put in inside this laundry room. That's all completely done. Too bad we couldn't get <laughs> a light. Yeah, we'll have to go get a, a switch. Yeah. But we'll, we've got the trim painted, it's sealed. We you might have to do one more final coat, maybe down the road. Yeah, I'm not sure, but we're gonna see how the, the rain holds up. Yeah, but for now it's really protected from the rain, more so than it was a little while ago. Oh yeah. <laughs> and, and like Roxanne just said, it looks so good. It does. I'm very happy. Really nice. We still need more trim around the front, on the bottom, down here and around the door and different things and up on top. Yeah. But we have to go get those things. We don't have any more actual trim board left. So, But we're gonna go pick up Wyatt, guys. So you have a great day, and I guess we will catch you all on the next one. Bye. Bye.